Yeah, well, right now we are punching through the strongest piece of the storm a bit further north. So a few hailstones have fallen. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. We're in that big updraft where we could potentially get some uh, inch and three quarter size hail. We've got the rain starting to come down really heavy. Um, this is where you have this big downburst of all that this storm has to offer as it continues to move. Not a ton of rotation with this cell quite yet. This is that same cell that sort of split off from the original that's producing or was producing at least that confirmed tornado that was um, down and out towards Woodward. But uh, you can see uh, from our dashboard cam, we've got the rain starting to come down, a few hailstones, but genuinely we are potentially going to be getting stuck into the larger hail core of this event. So you hear that pitter patter, that change, almost sounds like pebbles that are hitting. Uh, that's what it would be the initial pea sized hail, but it's only expected to get worse. Um, I'm not sure if we could throw up some radar as well. You can see that live image, but also the radar image. Um, you can see just kind of where the, the car is in location to where the strongest piece of this storm is, the strongest updraft. Very heavy rain coming down right now. Um, hard to really maybe hear me at, at times. Uh, but you can see it's that Inglewood, Kansas cell. It's kind of generally where we're at, riding that border. We're actually towards Ashland, so that's where uh, Brandon Topic is out in Inglewood. We split off from him just a little bit. We're moving further east out towards Ashland. But this is a destructive severe thunderstorm warning, as you can see there. Warned for, for over three inch size hail. At this point, we are, I would say, right over top Ashland, maybe just a little bit further east. So you see that re re reflectivity in there, the returns of the darker purples. That's showing hail that's lofted into the atmosphere and very strong updrafts, which we put ourselves under just to give you a little taste of something that these storms can produce and will produce. Uh, the night's still not over, and honestly, we're getting a small little hook with this. Um, just looking at it, there is a little bit of vorticity. This is up in the atmosphere, uh, but there is a little bit of rotation going on. So this storm could be entering a favorable environment. We are just now heading back into that level four out of five threat zone for central Kansas. Um, you can see that, that inflow, and there's that rotation that would be over Highway 160, just east of, or west rather, of Ashland. It has a long way to go in order to develop something if it was going to, but it's some signs that this cell is also starting to get its act together, as well as the one further down towards itself that still has that tornado warning. Uh, we've got multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in and around us. I mean, if you just look at that broader picture, it's the entire line, a bit hit or miss at times, especially near that surface low. We knew that was going to be a big producer of potentially a confirmed tornado, and that's definitely what we saw. But overall, you have that rotation with this storm near Ashland. We're continuing towards our eastern path, letting the rain kind of come down, seeing if we can intercept maybe some larger hail. Again, just to give you a taste of the storms that we've encountered, but there's a hook going on. I mean, we will capture something over the next hour before our time chasing or tracking rather is uh, is com completely over. But Ari, I'll send it back to you for a second. Um, and we'll kind of wait and see what this storm does over overhead. Yeah, you're in it. It's, it's really crazy to think when you're looking at this radar uh, image and great job reporting from in there. Honestly, now I am kind of yeah. jealous. I do enjoy uh, being in a nice little hailstorm 